Yes, yes, yes. There is a story here. Okay. Wow. Got a lot going on here, Libra. Okay, so the heart of the matter, the Queen of Swords. This is you, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is air energy, okay? So this is cutting out things that no longer serve you. You know, sometimes you do it hastily. Sometimes you just do it because you know it's not serving you. Either way, it's like off with your head, okay? So this is you cutting some things out that no longer serve you, okay? And with that, right next to it, the Eight of Cups, walking away, you know, you're cutting things out and walking away from things that you do not feel serve you. And with the World card here, okay, the reason why you're doing this is because you want to cut out the old behaviors and allow some some new things that, that will bring you um, some, some positivity into your life, okay? So, um, I mean, this is, this is great here. I feel like you guys are really standing up for yourself and really choosing, um, you know, happiness and what feels good. All right. Now, um, what I'm also seeing here that needs to happen is hermit. Okay. Some of you need to go within and really, really get some self-awareness here. Now let's go ahead and clarify Let's go ahead and clarify a little further here. Let's clarify the eight of cups. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So we have the two of pentacles, okay? So there's an imbalance here, all right? So this is why... Um, you're choosing to cut some something off and walk away. I feel like this is um, a love situation. It's like, you know, you're needing, you're needing more balance in your life. All right. Um, and again, oh, this is so funny. Defending yourself. Okay. Defending yourself. I just got done saying, I feel like you guys are really sticking up for yourselves and really trying to get that balance. Okay. And something about this relationship or situation with this particular person, um, yeah. Maybe some of you feel like um, you're always having to be on defense, okay? Um, and it's causing you to feel unbalanced. But either way, wanting to find some balance um, and um, the need to defend yourself. Now, um, just getting a little bit more of the storyline here. All right, why you are also, why it was such the need to severely cut something out, okay? Um, there was a form of mental entrapment here. I feel like this was you. I feel like um, you had some type of... Um, depression or some type of um you know um blinders on but you feel you felt trapped in this situation um with this particular person and this is why there was a need to to cut some things out all right so we also see here um the page of pentacles okay what i'm seeing here is i feel like with the page now, this, again, keeps coming up, the Page of Pentacles. I feel like for some of you, um, you, you have to get your shit together. Like, you know this. This is you saying this. This isn't me saying this. It's like, you know, I'm really not fully experienced with this. You know, there's some things that I need to do. I need to get myself together, okay? I need, you know... Maybe you feel like you need more money. Maybe you feel like you need to become more established here. Um, but there's something here that, you know, it's like being fresh out or needing to be on your own or start something new um, out in the world, be on your own, get on your own feet. Something about getting your yourself together, okay, in some way, shape, or form. All right. And just feeling entrapped. Maybe some of you feel like you don't have much to offer because, you know, you're not as established as you as you want. Um, and there is a level of heartbreak here. Like, I feel like 
you know, you understand that by you cutting this person out of your life, you understand that, you know, this is a hurtful thing. And I, I don't see this as you being malicious. I feel like you know because you feel like you're not as established or you have to make your own way or you still have to explore life because you're still so young, that sort of thing. This really does break your heart because you've stayed entrapped because it's almost like wearing a false mask, you know, acting as if you could give more than what you really could, okay, and needing to make a decision, okay, all right, so this is needing to make a decision to, to get out of this energy here, um, and making the decision to cut things off. Now, with this being said, the Ten of Pentacles, um, you know, this is why I feel this with the Page of Pentacles, not feeling like, you know, there's much here, but you needing to make a decision here between getting your stuff together, you know, your finances, your career, um, all of the tangible things you know, getting your own place or getting a better place or finally buying a house or, you know, buying a better car. Like there's something that you feel like you need to get more established within yourself. So you're caught between that and this connection with someone. Okay. So I feel like I almost get the feeling like you don't necessarily have ill will against this person. This is a mental entrapment within yourself because you feel like there's certain things that you still need to get together here, okay? And this is why you feel like you need to defend yourself. You need to, it's like, I need to put myself first, okay? But it might come off as you being selfish or very aloof towards, you know, someone. And maybe you've had this conversation with someone or maybe this is just what you feel internally, um, but it's like, I need, I need to get stable. I need to get stable. More stable is what I'm hearing. Now, the outside energy here with the moon card, okay? So either you feel like, you know, there's something mysterious about someone um, or um, they're hiding something. I get this more so like you feel like this person thinks that you're hiding something. Or that you're not expressing the way that you really feel or what you really need. Or maybe this person is not expressing much. But there is a lack of, um, there's some things that are hidden. I feel like these are like what someone really wants to say or what someone really want, you know, really desires, okay? Um, and again, we have this Seven of Wands. This is, you know, on defense, all right? So defending... On defense, so I get it now, okay? So feeling like you have to not speak your true desires, you have to defend your heart, okay? You're trying to stay emotionally balanced here, okay? Um, or this person is trying to, to feel this, um, not feel this, is trying to do this because, you know, they too have to guard their heart, okay? Um, but either the outside influence is making you feel this way or this is exactly how the outside influence, um, this person on the outside is feeling. Um, but with the Knight of Wands, okay, something comes rushing in. There is some action here, all right? Um, let's go ahead and clarify though, okay? Why is the moon card here, Spirit? Why is the moon card here? All right. So we have, wow, a lot of reoccurring cards. All right. So there is the Knight of Wands. All right. So action, um, guilt or loss. And then we have the lovers, the lovers decision. Um, yeah, I, I get the feeling that 
someone is rushing in and wanting to take action, wanting to take this to the next level. They're rushing in, okay? But you feel guilty um, because you, you have to make this love decision. It's like you don't have anything to give. This person is rushing in or wanting to rush this you know, turn this situation into some type of action. And you're just like, I just, I don't have it to do. I don't have it to give. And, and you, you know, you might even feel like you want to apologize about it. Um, but you feel some type of guilt. Okay. Now with the lovers here, um, this is, you know, making a love decision. This is also twin flame um, energy to me um, and to a lot of readers. So I feel like you acknowledge that there is a connection here, but it's just like, you know, I got to I got to get my stuff together. So, um, yeah, I feel like the the moon card is, is signaling that um, you know that this person is is really hiding their true feelings. But you also feel like this person you know, although they're not letting you know, this person is going to come rushing in. And with the Knight of Wands, um, we see this again. This, you know, came out previous this. All right. So this is letting me know that you, although they haven't expressed it, you know, this person is coming through like, OK, time's up. Like, what's going on? Let's, you know, let's speed this along. Like, let's take this to the next level. And um, they're they're rushing in. OK. They're not letting you know this, but you feel it, Libra. You feel it, okay? And you feel guilty about it because it's like, whoa, I, I, I can't. You're on defense. It's like, you know what? I'm, I'm just not ready. There's, there's this energy of like, oh my God, please. You know, I'm just, I'm just not ready. Um, or I just don't got it to do. So let's look at this here. This is a lot of cards for your outcome. Um, but like I said, I feel like there's a, sp a special message here. So I, I kept them all um, in the near future here. I see the two of cups. So I do see you acknowledging a connection here, the connection or a connection of any kind. OK, so really, really, this is soulmate energy. So acknowledging it fully. Oh, God, Libra. But I do see um, the stagnant energy here. OK. Um, so still delaying, but good news. Yay. Out comes the transformation card. Remember I said earlier when I was shuffling, I felt like some of you were going through a serious transformation. It was, it was coming out over and over again. As I was shuffling, I was, I was seeing this card here. Um, so, um, coming out of the energy, transforming out of this stagnant energy. All right. You're acknowledging the connection. Um, let's see here. Let's go in order. Um, seven of pentacles. Okay. So there still is the energy here. You have gone from the page of pentacles. I see that you will, um, definitely, you know, progress on. This is, um, the seven of pentacles. You will have obtained some things, but you're still going to be looking down like, you know, is this, is this enough? You know? But with the magician here manifesting something, okay, yes, I'm loving this Libra. All right, so you go from like, okay, I've been working my tail off. Let me take a peek at where I've come. You know, am I ready yet? Am I ready within my own right? Have I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish within myself? And before the old energy might have been like, oh my God, I'm disappointed. I'm going to give up. But it's like, holy crap, like I have, I've gotten, I've, you know, I didn't know that I gotten this far, but it's like, you know what? I'm not stopping there. I'm going to continue to manifest. I'm going to manifest this stability here. I'm going to get stable. So I feel like you guys are very, very determined. Yes. Okay. So that determination brings you to the nine of pentacles, not exactly the 10, but oh my God, a hell of a lot more um, than what you had before. So you guys are progressing through this transformation, progressing. I see you keep, keep, you know, um, rising. Now, 
Okay, this is where it gets a little tricky. So, the devil card, okay? Um, don't get scared. The devil card doesn't always have to be bad. But I feel like there is like a deep, deep codependency on someone or someone on you. Um, but I feel like this is more so like because you have this, um, you recognize this soulmate connection, um, before you looked at it as maybe as toxic, um, this could just be like a really, really stronghold on each other. Of course, it can talk about other things like um, um, some type of addictions and things like that, but I don't see it this way. You know why? Because it's right next to the passion card. So I think that this energy of looking at it like, oh my God, this is like, this is like toxic. Like, why can't I let this person go? This is more so like, I'm passionate about this person. Now, this could also be Libra. This could also be um, speaking about being very, very sexually attracted um, or just being like through this transformation. This has really peaked, no pun intended, um, this has really peaked your sexual side of things, okay? And, um, but I do feel like for for a lot of you, you acknowledge this connection. Maybe some of you still have, you know, have some residue here um, when it comes to your sensuality, your sexuality, okay? And it's still, it's like, you know, I've worked on, um, you know, getting myself together financially. I'm getting out here on my own, establishing some things for myself. But I do have some codependency issues. Or with this being side by side, I really feel like this is you having some concern over being sexually addicted to someone so maybe you have this really great connection and bond with someone but you still have some or will still have some um attraction sexual attraction um someone that is codependent on you um holding on to you tightly okay and with the five of swords oh no we have the betrayal okay so i feel like some of you have a fear that you will betray someone, okay, or you will get betrayed, okay, but I feel like you feel like this, this addiction or this toxic or karmic relationship that you've had with someone will still be looming around, um, and there's still some sexual tension there that, um, causes a betrayal or you're in fear that it will cause a betrayal here um let's see or maybe some of you just feel very very connected to that person before you looked at it toxic now you're looking at it with true passion and you are fearing okay of getting betrayed because now that you've opened up and become vulnerable and you acknowledge the connection but let's take a look here 